Back in that, back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Back in that, yeah. Tell them to watch it. Nah, I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that shit doing. Then she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole. I'm beating it down. I'm back in that bag again. Oh, whoa. Oh, say less. I'm back in that bag again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, say less. I'm back in that. Yeah. I was supposed to record half of this video outside, but I'm home right now. We're home since it started raining on and off. So it was kind of hard to record with the camera and the rain and an umbrella. So we scrapped that. Now we're home, but that doesn't stop us from recording another video for you guys. And this time we're comparing both Pixel Buds that Google has released. There's actually three Google Buds, but I don't have the last one. Before we begin, this is the first version of the Google Pixel Buds that Google released in 2020. So there are some slight differences in this one, but they do look the same. Just to mention a few differences before we begin the Pixel Buds Pro comparison. The Pixel Buds 2020 edition is slightly bigger, not a lot. It does have attention alert, which lowers the volume of your media when detecting sounds like sirens or crying babies. It also has a base boost equalizer and wireless charging. Those are the features that the Pixel Buds A does not have. Now that we have that out of the way, let's begin the real comparison. I do wanna say that I've used both of these buds for over a year each. So I do feel like I have a good base of what I think of them for this comparison and also like a slash review thing. So let's get right into it. Okay, so now that I'm here on the corner of your screen, I'm gonna put all the information here side by side so you can see clearly what the difference are. So first off, we have both these buds, as you can see in white. Both of these come in different colors and the Pixel Buds 2020, I think only came in white and black. From what I remember, the Pixel Buds Pro do come in more colors though, since they're newer, a lot better, but I'll get into that. And they they come in six different colors. Most people want to know this. So let's just start off with the big one, battery life. And for both of these, they're pretty good to be earbuds. And I think most of the people will enjoy the listening time and have enough time with these. But the Pixel Buds Pro do last longer than the original Pixel Buds. So the Pixel Buds 2020 do last six hours compared to the Pixel Buds A that do last only five hours. So one hour plus minus. Depending on your use case, this is enough. However, the Pixel Buds Pro do last 11 hours without A and C and seven hours with A and C on. If you do not know what ANC is, it's active noise cancelling. I have everything listed here. ANC is not available on the Pixel Buds 2020. That is only a Pixel Buds Pro feature. However, the Pixel Buds 2020 edition does last up to 24 hours with the case. I would say it's around the same for the Pixel Buds A and the Pixel Buds Pro lasts up to 31 hours without ANC together with the case and 20 hours with ANC on together with the case. And that is crazy. I think I only charge the Buds Pro around once every every two days. Yeah, depending on the use case, but around that. Both buds have a feature called clear calling. It's just so your voice is clear throughout the call. I would say both buds sound really good over the phone, but when using the Pixel Buds 2020 edition over the Pro, more people are complaining about my voice on the Buds 2020 than the Pixel Buds Pro. Pixel Buds Pro definitely win this, and I would agree as well. As I mentioned earlier, the 2020 edition does have wireless charging. The Buds Pro also has wireless charging. It's really nice to have wireless charging on these buds, definitely when you have a wireless stand to charge them or a pad, whatever you have, makes it more convenient to charge them. Both buds also support Google Assistant and live translation. I haven't really used the live translation except one time on both of them and it did not work well. You're supposed to be able to listen to another person in a foreign language, talk to you and it will live translate whatever they're saying. I've tried, it doesn't really work well. Sometimes it's delayed, sometimes it's not working. I wouldn't trust this feature. I mentioned Google Assistant and both of these buds do support Google Assistant, either saying the hey G word or hold holding the bud with your finger and saying whatever you want to say to it. I do find both features working very well, holding the bud and speaking the G word, but I don't really use them that often since I either speak directly to my phone or I speak to my Google Nest Hub at home. Both of the buds can play pause uh, with a click and both of them can also up down with the volume by just swiping, something that the Apple AirPods cannot do. I think the latest version does. Let me know in the comments below. You can also skip tracks, accept calls. However, the Pixel Buds A do not support the swipe to lower and increase the volume that's only the 2020 edition that does and the pros that i mentioned both of these buds are pretty good for working out uh, however i find the 2020 edition a bit more uncomfortable than the pixel buds pro they are a lot more comfortable than with the anc it makes it much nicer so you don't hear your surroundings uh, however these do seal very well even without the anc but they're a bit more uncomfortable over time they are both sweat and water resistant doesn't mean that you can put them in water but if it does get some 
some sweat or some splash of water they should be fine and the pixel buds pro both the charging case and the buds are sweat and water resistant something that the case on this one isn't google states that the pixel buds pro have premium sound and not the other editions so the 2020 and the pixel a i agree actually the pixel buds pro do sound a lot better than these uh, especially over time when you've listened to like a lot of different songs these do come on top and are very very solid let's get more into the pixel buds pro the design is a bit different than the pixel buds a or the pixel buds 2020 uh, as you can see it doesn't have the stem on the back uh, that locks it to your ear so it doesn't move a lot but depending on your ear the pixel buds pro do also just twist in and lock to your ear and does not move when running or doing any exercise i feel like these are a lot better than the original pixel buds since it doesn't have the stem that makes it uncomfortable over time i'm happy with the design the pixel buds pro does have conversation detection also transparency mode the conversation mode is when someone speaks to you stops your music and opens up to transparency mode when if you're talking to someone or someone is talking to you it should detect the voices and stop your music open up transparency mode so you can have a conversation however i do feel like this is a bit inconsistent sometimes since sometimes it's right on the spot it does it perfectly and sometimes it's a bit slow or i have to speak first and it stops the music if i say i sing a lyric it does stop the music so i would say just switch between a and c and transparency mode works a lot better the google pixel buds pro recently got an update with new features like spatial audio multi-connectivity and hearing wellness i feel like hearing well is one of the best features that has come to these buds and let me tell you why it's because of people not realizing how loud they actually listen to music sometimes i was listening to max volume on buds for the longest time and with this feature i realized when i actually do it because over the years i have tried to take down the sound a lot but i always end up like on the higher end and with this hearing wellness i haven't really because i can go into the app and i can check when i'm listening to too loud of music or when i'm listening to too high of sounds through the headset or through the buds and i feel like it's just nice to look at sometimes not for everyone of course but for me i like this feature a lot another feature is spatial audio some videos on youtube i think and some other videos on your phone you can listen to them in spatial audio meaning that you can look to the left and you will only hear the volume on one side you can look to the right and the volume and i know i just went left right <laughs> opposites but you get what i mean and that's a pretty cool feature but i haven't really used it that often the last feature that got added or actually it was the first one but in this order it's the last okay <laughs> multi-connectivity and this is perfect since google will start supporting multi-connectivity with even google tv so i can connect these buds to my tv since i have a google tv this is a feature that is not on the pixel buds 2020 that was supposed to be there i think think they talked about it but never happened so it's on the pixel buds pro that also adds the fast pair feature that the 2020 does not have that's something that the pixel buds pro is such a good feature that of course apple has had for the longest time with their stuff but that google is working on pretty well right now and i have to say it's not consistent but i hope it gets there one day because i can connect these to my watch i can connect it to my phone and they should be able to switch between and of course soon you can even switch it to your tv i'm excited for this feature to actually work very smooth but for now it is a bit in, like weird but i do like it that's what i had for today guys these two buds i would say still the pixel buds pro are ahead but this is a really really good purchase if you are considering cheaper buds the pixel buds a are really good these ones if you can find them the pixel buds 2020 edition if you do find them they're really good of course they're not as supported as the pixel buds a or the pixel buds pro since they're older version but it's still a good buy however if you do have a bigger budget they do cost a bit more than these or the pixel buds a i think they are 200 dollars ish of course it should be a bit cheaper uh, because they're not as good as other headsets but it's still a good buy because they always go on sale so if you do find them on sale go buy the pixel buds pro if not the pixel buds they are really good buy as well i hope you guys are liking these somewhat reviews and also this is a new type of thing uh, me comparing products and i hope you guys are enjoying it i am looking to do more and i hope you guys are excited for the content coming i am trying to post at least two times a month i want to post every week but i need to see with what i can get my hands on of tech wise next video might be about this phone that is the, the google pixel 6 i'm looking to do a two year review on this it is getting old but it's still a really, really good phone. Let me know in the comments below what else you want me to make a video on. I'll see what I can get my hands on. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.